Well, we're out. You make it through? Finally. <laughs> oh, I thought I had a knife. I'm like, that's not a knife, that's a snorkel. <laughs> He's like, oh, you're right. <laughs> oh my God. We just got to Malaysia. And this is how it's starting. All right, Brian's not allowed to carry the camera anymore. Holy man. I, I won't film you, I won't film you. <laughs> he didn't want me to put him on film. I don't know why, but I feel like that's gonna be a thing here a, a bit. Are you ready to experience the most unbelievable, wildly original, never before seen travel vlog to ever hit the big screens of YouTube? Well, wait no more, because me and my friend Kyle are here to take you alongside all of our journeys as we set off to parts unknown. We are leaving our small Canadian town just outside of Vancouver, BC to travel the world for as long as we possibly can. We are both at an impasse in our lives where it was between hunkering down for a normal nine to five or taking a shot at doing what we love, traveling, eating, experiencing cultures while meeting new people is the task at hand. And we are super excited to bring you all along. Welcome to Fork in the Road. Well, just uh, woke up here. And uh, I'm gonna see what Kyle is doing over here. <laughs> Playing some poker, trying to make his dreams happen. <laughs> 13 days out of our uh, escapades, and we got ourselves a good old fashioned snow day. Lots of snow came overnight. Well, we got uh, everything all packed up here. Me and my guy Kyle Jones, ready to go. <laughs> the apartment is uh, seemingly packed, emptied, somewhat cleaned. Bags at the front door, ready for our departure. No more sleeps. It's just go time now. See you on the other side. He has arrived. He has arrived. It's not white, it's a blue Ooh. one. Look at that beautiful vehicle right there. <laughs> Classic Brian, thinks he has everything figured out. Well, We're out. you make it through? Finally. <laughs> oh, I thought I had a knife. I'm like, that's not a knife, that's a snorkel. <laughs> He's like, oh, you're right. <laughs> okay, so that was incredibly stressful. Uh, when we first got here, we had to like register ourselves with like what the Malaysian government or Malaysian airport, Malaysian government. We had no idea that we had to do that. So we went up to check in. They were denying us check in. We were trying to do it online. They were denying us, denying us, denying us. And uh, then when we got here, we had to like register with the Malaysian government. It was like relatively quick, but certainly not as quick as you would like it to be when you're a little stressed out that you have no idea how long this process is gonna take. It went to some website. I also, like an idiot, didn't have my confirmation email for our flight out of Malaysia to Phuket. So that was a bit of a nightmare, but thankfully within 45 minutes or so, we had it all found. We're through security, we're at the gate, sitting in this nice little loungy thing, whatever we're in. It's kind of nice seats. Not bad. I don't know Much why. better they, than those ones. I know, what are they doing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what these people behind us are doing. Brian's already on the plane, hoping I get through with uh, not having to check my bag, because I have my tennis rackets sticking out the back. Hey, guy. How are you, sir? Good. Meet Merrick. Meet Kelvin. Right here. This guy. Right here. YouTube star. You're gonna be on it. Merrick. Gotta love that middle seat. Gotta love that middle seat. Middle oh. seat. Yeah, it is. Archer's deep in the thought. <laughs> so we were playing a great game of chess. Yeah, we were. He gave me his queen. queen. He gave me his queen right away. <laughs> I fucked up, or I screwed. I screwed up and gave him my queen. I don't think you're supposed to swear on YouTube. No, no, no. <laughs> Better than. 
but as compensation, we got this thing. Screen lock. There we go. <laughs> Me and my guy, fresh off the plane. I'm so tired right now. I'm not tired at all. You're not tired? Of, nah. Oh. I'm riding that adrenaline. That Tokyo adrenaline. We're in Japan. We're gonna go drift. We're gonna go drift, right? Tokyo drift, that's what we're gonna do? <laughs> this guy's going stairs? We think he's better than me? Some people want to, uh, you know, prove themselves to the world by, you know, stepping their way through it. This guy. It's okay. <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna get food. And then, uh, this fellow we met from Vancouver here, he uh, found a new area by our gate where we're boarding, and I decided to get myself a, a whiskey sour and like, these octopus, deep fried octopus ball things. Can't remember the name of them now, but I've seen them before. Takanomi or something like that. But it looked fantastic. Here's the thing. Tell the, tell the people something. Tell the people so something. I want this beer because I need to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. I... Give a reaction shot here. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It was definitely as good as the last one. I'm going to give that. That's up there. I've had these like, ball things before. I can't remember the name of them now. But, um,. Uh, that was a solid, like, like maybe a nine out of ten. This can be found here. It just makes so much. Tear the pouch. It just makes so much sense. Best. Like instead of them all doing it all the time and, and having to waste their time, the they just play us this amazing video. This woman's probably not looking a day in her life ever again. That's it's gold. Just, yeah, they're getting royalties for life. For sure. <laughs> that was so good. That was the best thing I've ever seen. I, I we're we're in Japan still, and I'm I already love Malaysia. That's that what I gotta do around here to get a slow clap going. You know, <laughs> try to start a slow clap. I like thought I almost had something going there for a second, and then no, no one joined in. Yeah. That was incredible. That was incredible. Go for it. Well, I went to the washroom. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I went to the washroom. Went for a urination. Then I walked out. Left my fanny pack in there, took my fanny pack off so I can get a proper pee. And then I walked away, and then I went to put my headset on. I realized my music's not playing. Oh, and my, like, God. oh, oh my fanny pack's not on. Oh my God. We got her back. We literally just Didn't lose walked. Anything. We just got off the plane. We literally walked into the washroom, both went to the washroom, and then we're walking away. And then Brian just goes, Oh my God. And he turns around and he bolts back towards the washroom and disappears into the washroom and you'd think that if someone left something in the washroom that was important they would know exactly where they left it and they would have it back within what 10 seconds of entering the washroom he disappears in the washroom and doesn't come out for like literally like two and a half minutes i'm like standing out there like this isn't a good sign if he's not out yet that means he can't find it thankfully someone was using the stall that he was in and didn't touch it, it was just sitting up there on the ledge still. Oh my god, we just got to Malaysia, and this is how it's starting. All right, Brian's not allowed to carry the camera anymore, holy man.
Well, here we are. We're in Malaysia for the first time. Well, I think Brian's actually been here before. But have you been here before? True story. Yeah, you have. Okay. But uh, just walking down the street, just got out of the bus terminal. And here's the little bit of the skyline for right now. What in the hoover? That's why I'm seeing it. That coming. Didn't take this country as a young men Christian association place. <laughs> You know, they are prestige worldwide. It's um, a 30 minute walk to our hotel, I figured. We, it's 8.30 in the morning right now. We can't check in until 3.30. Maybe they'd let us check in early, but at this point we're like, what, seven hours ahead of schedule right now, so. Got a bit of a window. Got a bit of a wait. So we're gonna go try to find a coffee shop and then go get some, I believe they call it nasi lemak, which is the, uh, kind of like the national dish we were told to get it for breakfast specifically so see you guys when we get there well I was really wanting to google best nasi lemak in Malaysia but first place we saw here it comes <laughs> it looks good yeah thank you very much I won't film you I won't film <laughs> He didn't want me to put him on film. I don't know why, but I feel like that's gonna be a thing here a, a bit. So, quick tidbit for you guys. Many of you probably know this. Some of my friends, when they see this, are gonna be very disappointed in me. But I was a vegetarian slash vegan, somewhat, whatever. I was vegan for eight years. And then after eight years of being vegan, I went pescatarian. And so I was eating like, you know, pretty much like vegan plus seafood. But a little while ago, I just decided I just wanted to see how it made me feel to start eating meat. So last year when I was in Thailand and Vietnam, I was eating like zero meat whatsoever. Um, but now I'm like just trying it to see how it goes. And so, yeah, just to give you guys a little preface, it's like my first time in Asia actually kind of trying like all the dishes. So we're about to dip into this nasi lemak here, if that is what it is, I'm pretty sure. They said it was, but this is the national dish, so give it a try. Here we go. Give it a go. Try to get the perfect bite. Perfect. Got to get that perfect bite. Anyway, I'll film you getting in there. I'll film you getting the perfect bite. Get in there. I don't even know how to do it. Mm. Just get a little bit of the egg, the rice. That's good. Good spice. Spicy. Good spice. Uh, is it spicy? Uh, spicy. I, I didn't expect that. It's only good. Only eating it. Only eating it. Nasi lemak ayam eating He's trying very hard to stay uh, out of the shop. Chicken biryani. More chicken biryani. Only mutton biryani. Chicken biryani. Then ring it. Ah, uh, mutton chicken biryani. Okay. Mutton ring it. Twenty ring it. The guy in the airport. Uh, airport tomorrow, is saying tomorrow, 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 chana. Tomorrow. Chana. Chana. Something. Nasi lemak chana. Nasi lemak chana. Chana something. Is that a thing? Chana thing. We don't know. <laughs> Alright. Okay, here we go. It was good? Yeah, it was great. Yeah? How spicy are we talking here? Uh, for me, maybe like a 6 out of 10 maybe. Is there like a lot of bone in this? It seems like a lot of chicken. We're going to have to do this a little differently. Okay. Perfect bite. Here we go. Been waiting a long time for this. <laughs> we have, yeah. <laughs> Much spicier than I thought it was going to be. I didn't realize it was going to be like a spicy dish at all. But I'm happy that it was. Oh wow, that's spicy. I'm happy that it was. Wow. It is spicy. Ooh. Yeah. That is a good spice. Damn. Yeah. That's. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> that's really good. So one thing that we forgot to do, and it's something that we absolutely hate, that when uh, Brian and I will sometimes like watch a travel vlogger or something, we absolutely hate that they don't tell us the price of what they're eating. Lots of people do, but there's a lot of vloggers that will like eat something or get something, they won't tell you how much it is. So 
Um, anyway, so this was eight ringgit. So we're, we're pretty much done. There's our empty plates. Um, this was eight ringgit, and 10 ringgit is like roughly $3 Canadian. Since we're Canadian, we'll probably tell you the price in Canadian a lot. Um, so yeah, eight ringgit, 10 ringgit being roughly about $3. So you do the math. Here we are, Thousand Miles Hotel. We have arrived. We're here. Well, 209. Oh man, this is a window. It's supposed to have a window, but I think that, I think it literally, it's a right at a wall. Oh my God, this room is so small. Wow, this room is so small. Oh, look at this room. <laughs> It's so big. So much space. Oh, we got an, got an AC up here. That's something. Oh. We were planning. We were planning on giving you guys a, a tour of the room, but tour over. Tour over. Before it even began. Oh no. Well, you know. We got a. Got a window, got a TV, got a desk, got two beds, got an AC, got a little hanger rack thing here. <laughs> if you trust yourself not to drop it, you know? Stick your arm open and see what Got ourselves a, a window here. With the, not much going on out here, but, you know, it's a window. I'm gonna close now, because I want that AC pumping. Well, that's the room, folks. Don't act like you're not impressed. If I sink this bottle in this bucket, you have to like and subscribe.